My two hobbies are wild honeybee nest hunting and history, so I thought, wouldn't it be a bit more fun to learn the history of each location I find wild honeybee nests? Because, you know, the bees and history remind me that I'm only here for a split second in time, so I better make the most of it. Today, we're at Lair Hill Park in Portland, Oregon, and before it was named Lair Hill Park, it was the home of a beautiful mansion belonging to Charles and Hedwig Smith, who lived here from around 1886 to 1909. And I talked with Val Ballastrum, who wrote a book called Lost, Portland, Oregon, and I've put details in the description down below so you can buy the book if you're interested. And he raised a good question about the park's name, saying why was the park named after William Lear Hill and not Charles and Hedwig Smith? Because William only lived on the property for a short time before he moved to California. And Charles Smith was one of the largest employers in Portland at the time, and he owned the Smith Brothers Ironworks. Also, he'd been appointed by President Ulysses S. Grant to represent Oregon at the 1873 Vienna World's Fair, where he met his Danish wife, Hedwig. And on a side note, 18Bs is actually named after the 18th President of the United States. There was a lot of private buyers offering money to buy Charles's mansion. Instead, they sold the mansion to Multnomah County for a nominal sum on condition that it would be used for hospital purposes and that the beautiful landscape that they had constructed would remain intact. And so after his death, the mansion was converted to the Multnomah County Hospital. And actually over here is uh, the old children's museum, but it was once also the nurse's residence. Unfortunately, the mansion was not really a suitable building for a hospital. There were lots of fire hazards and other issues with the building. And so they decided to start working on a new building up at Markham Hill. And around 1923, patients moved into the new county hospital building and the Charles and Hedwig Smith house was demolished shortly afterwards. And in 1927, the location became Lair Hill Park. So the question is, you know, why did they choose William Lair Hill over Charles and Hedwig Smith? William also made a significant contribution to Oregon and Washington. William was an attorney, a historian, and newspaper editor in Portland, and he also worked on codifying Oregon's and Washington's laws and I believe he was once the editor for the Oregonian for a short time. I guess people's opinions of him can be summed up by the comment from Franklin Pierce Mays, who was a former law student, who said on William's death in 1924, he was the kindest, sweetest man I ever knew. He knew more law than any man I have ever had anything to do with, and he knew more of everything else than he did of law. He could name you every flower and plant that he saw in an afternoon walk. And when he was more than 80 years old, he learned to drive an automobile and to do it very well. For relaxation, it was his habit to read scientific works in the original German, and he could read and talk Spanish with fluent ease. He was a lifelong student and man of the keenest intellect. He seemed to know something on every conceivable subject and to know it thoroughly. So it sounds like, you know, two excellent individuals who lived in Portland, and they went with William Lair Hill. This is a maple tree, and you can see where the old entrance was. And I'm, I'm assuming that this ripping apart of the trunk is fairly new because we've had a very, very dry summer, and we've had lots of limbs just suddenly dropping from the stress of the, the drought assuming that this trunk is just kind of pulled apart from the, the drought and now the bees are using it as an entrance. Pretty unique. I've not seen this before. All right, I'm on to the next one.